Okay, so today I'm actually going on a little bit of an adventure. I am going up to Terrell, Terrell. I don't even know how to pronounce this town, but it's near Dallas. <laughs> so I'm gonna be driving up there today to go get a Gaylord of Books that I found listed on Facebook Marketplace. Now, it is raining something crazy outside. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but it is all around me. It is pouring, but I need to get my oil changed before I go. I'm already like, you guys, way past where I should have gotten my oil changed. So I am waiting for the place to open so that I can get my oil changed, and then I will get on the road and head out to this town near Dallas to go get an entire Gaylord book. So my car is empty, right? Which is like how you should have your car when, you know, it's possibly going to get cleaned. Um, so I've got buckets in the back and bags and all that kind of stuff so that I can try to kind of section out the books and kind of chunk them throughout my car um so this should be exciting i'm on a little bit of an adventure today it's not quite eight o'clock so i have just a couple of minutes to wait until the oil change place opens and then we will get this show on the road let the fun begin okay so for those of you wondering what a gay lord of books is because i love the name of this it is a gay lord of books and so i looked it up what is a gay lord like what how did this name come about? So apparently it was the container company that first created the size of these boxes. They're like 40 by 48 by 36 inches. Um, and it is a triple layer corrugated board uh, for the box to be made out of. It usually has to be lifted by like a forklift on a pallet. So when I say I'm getting a lot of books that I had to empty out my entire car and nobody's allowed to come with me today, it's because there's that many books. Apparently it can hold uh, like weight wise, we're talking about 500 to 1100 pounds of books is about how much a gay lord holds. So I have no idea what I'm getting today. Uh, it is literally a giant grab bag. I mean, I literally had to look it up. I was like, why is this called the gay lord of books? I mean, I love it, but why? And so that's why it was the gay lord shipping company that originally came up with this sizing of shipping container and it's an octagonal box so it's not even like a four-sided it actually kind of has the corners chopped off so it's actually an octagon shaped box but i'm super excited i have no idea what i'm getting but it's gonna be a lot of fun so here we go <laughs> I just got done going through the books. Uh, he was nice enough to actually let me go through all the stacks because hopefully you saw like the little clip of all the boxes that were there. Um, I did not get to the bottom of any <laughs> one box. I just kind of went through the tops. I'm actually like whew, glistening here. Um, so I was able to go through all of it and I just did 150 a pound for the books because that way I was able to go through everything and actually kind of like pick out what I wanted as opposed to get just what was in some of these. Y'all, <laughs> there was some crazy stuff in these boxes. Um, there were like VHS tapes. Uh, so yeah, so I actually was able to kind of like, it actually was a good thing that I was able to kind of go through and pick out exactly what I wanted. So I was able to get like some good titles, stuff that I know that I'll actually either enjoy or be able to kind of resell. So it'll be good. So I've only got four buckets of books. <sighs> and then, yeah, so now it's just trekking it back home. So let the fun begin for the real fun. Cause now I got to get back. I need gas. I need a potty break. I need something to eat. I need to wash my hands <laughs> and then make it home. Mm -hmm. 